I know you don't have a lot of time today. We're going right into this EMOM. You guys have three blocks, three rounds. This is my setup today. You need one set of heavy dumbbells, one lighter dumbbell or a moderate dumbbell. Block number one. Now this EMOM, we're gonna go 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. I have programmed your recovery into it. So you are working for an entire 40 seconds today. We are not counting reps. Block number one, exercise number one. We're gonna go dumbbell power jack right here. Core stays tight, looks like a jumping jack. We're adding a dumbbell to it. Exercise number two, we're going dumbbell goblet squat. Again, 40 seconds, elbows to knees, keeping those knees driven apart. Last one, we are going into the dumbbell pull through, opposite arm pulls through, places it, keeping those hips nice and low into that high plank position. Ready to get started? Let's go ahead, grab this timer. Remember, we're working 40 seconds on, I have programmed you 20 seconds of recovery. All right, so this is a marathon, it's not a sprint. Maybe you keep up with me in reps, maybe you don't. You we're all working for 40 seconds today. We go in three, two, one, let's go. Core is tight, chin stays up. Right here, I don't even have to count reps to you guys today. We can just talk the whole time. Here we go. Breathing, it's your first exercise in this block. It should feel relatively good for round number one. Here we go. I'm gonna keep jumping and look, 15 seconds. Keep moving. Slight bend in those knees always, never lock them out. We should be in our final 10, three, two, one, right there. All right, nobody tells you how hard it is to time yourself and do the exercise at the same time, especially if it's on your wrist. All right, we got 10 seconds, we're going into a goblet squat. One dumbbell, that goblet squat. Elbows touch the knees, dumbbell stays high on the chest. We go three, two, one, let's go. Core stays tight, chest stays up. I like to keep the dumbbell under my chin so I don't drop here, right? Find a good tempo. Hopefully you're listening to music maybe at home or at the gym while you're doing this. Final 15 seconds. These are quick. Who says you need a lot of time at the gym to get a good workout? You don't. This is how I work out three to four days a week. All right, guys. Right there, 40 seconds. That came fast. Nice recovery. We're gonna grab either your heavier or moderate dumbbell going into that high plank position. Now this one, relatively tricky. It creates it requires a cross connection of the brain. Opposite arm, opposite grab. We go in three, two, one, let's go. Keep the dumbbell underneath your body so it's easy to pull through. If you pull the dumbbell up to your hands, that's awkward, right? Keep it nice and low, keep those hips square. Try to prevent rocking the boat. Do not open the hips up right here, guys. Keep the hips low, core is tight. We have our final 15 seconds. Now remember, we're looking for change in the new year, guys. I'm gonna give you guys some protein recipes in the link below. Grab that link before you leave this workout. In three, two, one. There we go, 40 seconds, sorry guys. That was round number one. You guys have two more rounds. I hope you have your clock at home. You're not necessarily relying on me. If you don't, grab your Apple Watch. Set that timer on. You're gonna start in five, four. Back at the top with the power jack. Three, two, one. You got 40 seconds. Let's go. All right, guys, that was block number two. We're going right into block number three. Remember, 20 seconds is very quick, but these aren't necessarily really requiring a lot out of you in block number one. We're gonna get into it in block numbers two and three. This is round three. Let's go. guys, block number two, you just finished block number three. Hopefully, you've given yourself a little bit of recovery, no longer than two minutes of recovery, guys. Again, how we've built these workouts is we need relatively very little equipment so we can roll right through the workout and not waste any time getting through it. So block number two, we're gonna go, you're gonna need one heavy weight, one moderate weight, you probably still have from last block in your goblet squats, and that lighter weight as well, work in the core. 
So for the first movement, we're gonna go into the dumbbell overhead reverse lunge. Now this is 20 and 20 on each leg. So I'm really gonna have to watch my clock on that 20. Get that arm up and then you wanna sink that shoulder into the shoulder girdle. We're gonna go opposite leg, opposite arm. We're going 20 on the right, 20 on the left. All right, from there, we're gonna grab our heavier weight into the goblet sumo. Toes are wide, shoulders are back. Here, oh, so, sorry, goblet sumo deadlift. So slight bend of the knees, hinge in the hips. It is not a squat. Last but not least, you need that lighter weight. I hope you're analyzing what weights you have right now and doing this while I'm explaining alternating V up. Similar to block number one, we are going for an entire 40 seconds on, programmed 20 seconds off. It is still EMOM style because we're starting every minute on the minute. All right guys, go ahead, get those weights ready. Get the other dumbbells out of the way. Safety is our first concern. And we're gonna go 20 seconds on the right, 20 seconds on the left in three, two, one, let's go. We are not alternating those legs. We're simply cutting that 40 seconds in half. Core is tight, shoulder girdles locked, elbows close to the temple or ear. We're gonna switch arms in three, two, one, let's go. Shoulders stay stacked above the hips, guys. Keep the core tight. Pushing through that heel on that front leg. Getting the glute engagement. You guys keep moving. I'm gonna keep lunging. Three, two, one, done. Okay, 20 seconds. We're going right into the sumo deadlift, all right? Now you can do this with two dumbbells. If you don't have one heavy dumbbell, you can do one heavy dumbbell. Choice is yours. Making sure those feet are wider than hip width apart. Toes are pointed out. We go in three, two, shoulders back. One, hinge of the hips. Drive forward. Really getting that glute squeeze, keeping the chin tucked, keeps the core tight. Keep a nice flat back, wrapping that core. I'm gonna stay probably halfway there. There we go. Keep moving, guys. Here we go, final 10 seconds. We go. Three, two, one, done. I'm usually pretty on top of it when I think halfway, and I was. I've only been doing timed workouts for like seven years now. It's kind of one of those things that you kind of start to pick up on. Oh, how long is 20 seconds? We go in five, four, three, two, one, alternating the up, head down to the tailbone comes off the ground. If you're not being able to come off the ground, lift up the top half of your body first, match it with the lower half, all right? But you need to get all the way up to that tailbone, guys, to get a good engagement of that core. I think I can do this in one hand. Here we go. Final 15. Keep going. Final, three, two, one. Last trap right there. All right, guys, that was round number one. Again, not super high intense, right? Really focusing on the tempo of your movements. That 40 seconds allows you freedom to work as fast or as slow as you would like to, as heavy or as light as you would like to as well. We're starting round number two in three, two, one. Overhead reverse lunge, let's go. Great job on round number two. Rolling right into round, no round number three. Right, 20 seconds, it's very fast. Let's go, you got that overhead reverse lunge. One final time in three, two, one, let's go. All right, I'm nice and sweaty. I know you are definitely nice and sweaty right now. We have one final block in this EMOM. 
three rounds again. You can do it. Dig deep, guys. Remind yourself why you started today, why you showed up. So, number two, you're gonna notice this is a trend. I love the snatch. It is a fantastic power-driven movement, upper body, full body, focusing on the hinge of the hips, the squeeze of the core to get that weight up. This is a power-driven movement, not strength. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you can curl and press, this weight would technically be too light for me. Because we're on YouTube and I am showing you the exercise in the workouts, I would technically go 35 to 40 pounds on my snatch because I cannot possibly curl and strict press that weight on its own. So again, we're gonna go alternating dumbbell snatch for 40 seconds. Again, you have the option, you probably notice I switch at the top. That one's gonna be relatively harder. You can switch at the base too, if you'd like. 40 seconds on, don't count your reps, doesn't matter either way. All right, the next one is, we're gonna go hip hinge, low row. Shoulder blades in the back pocket, side bend the knees. Belly button is to the spine. We're gonna go low row here. Right, pulling those dumbbells into the back pocket. Third and final movement, we're going dumbbell sit up. Again, I do hope that you're grabbing your weights as I'm showing you these movements, because we're rolling right into this workout. All right, dumbbell sit up. Dumbbells against your chest, rolling into it. Right? Do not pull the dumbbell weight from your chest. It acts as a lever that makes it easier. We're not here for easy, we're here to get your ass kicked. All right, guys. Like I said, we're going right into it. We're gonna start that dumbbell alternating snatch. 20, well, 40 seconds, 20 seconds recovery before we start that next movement. We go in three, two, one, let's go. All the way up. Now you can cross at the top of this movement. You can cross at the bottom of this movement. I personally like to go at the top. This is a power driven movement, meaning your feet should leave the ground each time stack the wrist above the elbow, the elbow above the shoulder. There you go, keep that core nice and tight. Halfway there guys, you got about 15 seconds left. You get 20 seconds to recover. Here we go. Woo! Feeling it. Final five, four, three, two, one. 20 seconds to breathe. We're gonna go into that hip hinge low row next. 15 seconds before we get started. Now we're gonna hip hinge low row. You wanna pull the belly button into the spine. Hinge those hips back. We're gonna go five, four, three, two, one. Shoulder blades back pocket, hinging at the hips. we here. Mining the gap between the bicep and the forearm. They never meet. Should be a nice 90 degree angle. Squeezing those shoulder blades together at the top. Going a little bit faster. You definitely want to make sure you pace yourself because we're going for a full 40 seconds. Keep that core tight, eyes on the ground, nice neutral spine. Here we go. All right, I'm going to keep you guys keep going. This one's harder. We got 10 seconds. Here we go. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Look at that. Woo. It's almost like I do timing a lot for a living. All right, last movement, guys. Round one, we're gonna go in 10 seconds. We have the dumbbell sit up. 20, here we go. All right, dumbbell sit up in three, two, one, and we're up. Pushing that weight against your chest. Sorry, you guys are gonna have to hear me through this. Let me fix this mic real fast. Right back up and down, adding the resistance as we go through the motion. Here we go. Core is tight, rolling that spine in, keeping those heels on the ground, up and down. Here we go. Holding it here. Keep going, guys. It's really hard to navigate timing, recording, and all the things. Three, two, one. That was really difficult for me. I'm not sure if you guys saw that. I lost my mic. I couldn't see my timer. A lot of stuff going on. All right, guys, you have 10 more seconds. We're going back at the top, right into that alternating snatch for 40 seconds. Low row, sit up. Your second round begins in three, two, one. Let's go. All right, guys, that was block number two. Block number three, this is your last and final block. Heavy, let's go. Push, push, push to the end. You got this. I'm breathing heavy. I know you're breathing heavy too. Last block, best block. 
three minutes, you're right into it. All right guys, that was it, your EMOM. A different style today. We want 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off but you guys absolutely crushed it. Again, it was all more on your own tempo and your own weight today. You can go as slow or as fast as you wanted, as long as you're working for those entire 40 seconds. And I really hope that you stuck with me through all three rounds. I hope you're just as sweaty as I am. Don't forget, feel your body, check out the protein recipes below. I'm gonna go make one. I have to basically make one after every single time I film. So I wanna share them with you guys. It's very easy. Check it out, Coach Ashley. I'll see you guys next time.